under the surface modeling long time ago I taught how to use the necessary tools from the surface modeling we have so many in here we can make the what we need and we can use the windows and uh, go to the uh, setting and preference we can go to the shell editor we can define new shell and maybe new one we can make the name here surface System here, special here. If you want, you can change them again going back to the shell editor, and then you can change the up and down. Then it will go down, it will go up. You can fill here. I just put in the surface model and save the shell there. First tool we need to save in here. First tool is we always delete the, uh, our history after making. That means this one delete by, uh, delete by type this tool, and we can just use the Control Shift and select which tool we need to put in here. Each cell here, different different cell. Our new cell is in here. We can make edit, delete by type, and press the Control and Shift and click here then you can see that it has came to there if anything we made we can delete in here another important tool is a modify transform uh, move normal tool here modify transform move normal tool is also a very important tool the move uh, normal tool allows you to move CVs along a surface U or V directions or along the surface normal. The move normal tool is useful for moving CVs to readjust the flow of a surface isoprams while maintaining the original shape. Okay, let's see we can use the control uh, shift and select this one and then you can see it came in here. Another important tool is uh, attach surfaces in here. Attach surface in here. Attach surface we just has a uh, you know many options there. We can just uh, need to make the options and options to before we make adding before adding this into shell. We just uh, modify the attach surface uh, properties there. You can find here attach surface in here and you can see that blend is there blend bias you can 0 0.5 and make a insert not we don't need that one okay and keep original we can switch off the keep original there and then we can make in a settings in here save settings there and then close this one and next time if we go to here see the attach here see that it has a save in the settings there now we need to put that settings in here we can just uh, go to the here it, uh, surfaces there we need to add this tool now into here control shift again then we just make attach surface here you can see that attached surface came to there and same way we can go to the rebuild uh, surface tool here rebuild surface tool in there and this is also has option we just need to change the option here it's a little bit complicated you can see many options there in here rebuild type uniform and the parameters uh, range to the 0 to number of spans there and then we can make the keep uv on keep uvs on keep keep not uv sorry cvs Okay, keep CVs on there here and then we can just make the <coughs> here save the settings here save settings 
and then we can just uh, make the you know close this one then next if we open the here you can see that the directions already changed the here okay uniform this one is number of uh, direction u and v isoprams in here and keep cvs on here and now we can just put this surface tool into here again control shift we select that then it's come to here see now if you click that one see we need to select something but it's okay i will show it later and maybe early lesson many weeks ago i also explained you guys a detach any surface we can detach from selected um, isoperm this one also very important tool you can see that is not just uh, many options uh, this is uh, reset the default default there then i just go to here and make it uh, detach here control shift again it also came to here other very important tool is insert isoperm and uh, we can go to here you can find the insert isoperm here insert isoperm it's also not many options there see at the section between section there this is a typically in here the reset this is normal settings there i will put this one also while pressing the shift and control insert isoperm there it's also in here and uh, another very important one is in here curve we always draw the curves and we use the curve to build the surface and but we need to sometimes rebuild the curve and rebuild curve we can find in here rebuild curve here the important thing is its options you can just click here this one we can change the settings like a surface uh, rebuild this is a curve rebuild uniform and uh, this is a parameter range we can make the 0 to number of a span and we can make the key uh, keep CV uh, on and then we can go to the setting and then save this setting see close we come to here and make the again control shift we have that one sometimes we need the the rebuild surface we already we already made the special in here tool but sometimes we need to change the option there so you better to make it in here another rebuild surface option one here rebuild surface option in here control uh, uh, shift select there this is a this is for rebuild uh, tool this is for rebuild option you can see that the same way you make the curve curve <coughs> curve rebuild uh, curve rebuild option also sometimes you need then make it here this is for rebuild tool with our selected option this is for choose the option there and another very important one is a uh, global stitch global stitch is uh, very important to connect um, more than two surfaces then we can use the global stitch options there then you can go to surface you can stitch there then this is a global stitch and select the options in here the stitch option in here and uh, surface <coughs> surface corners closest point and uh, closest knot i think i select the closest knot and then uh, the stitch edges this is for corners this edges edges uh, we can make the match with the patch uh, the the params uh, parameters patch match with the parameters that is uh, given by the knot here and another thing is in here the the stitch smoothness we use the normals here and max separation uh, we can make a 0 0.1 and then modification resistance uh, uh, you can make the about the 10 about about uh, maybe 
creates in here you can just type about 0 10 here sampling density you can just put here and then this one switch off there and here save again and close it and then you can go to here again stitch global stitch now use the shift and you can make the shift and the flow, uh, control then it's also came to there now we have very basic tools not like the too much here and we have these tools we can use them for our own uh, own tool set for working it's quite much more faster than the other